I'll just drop this explosion in here, which causes an error. Oh. Just ignore that error, like. Uh. <laughs> so, let me show off this this explosion. Love it. It's a little different each time. It's very um, voluminous. Um, there's also a very like slow version of it in the game during super reflex where it really shines. Let me just blow your mind. <laughs> Please. Yeah. <laughs> that was Wait. a really interesting implementation detail, actually. Like we found that super reflexes. I can't remember them off the top of my head. Super when you go super slow mo, whatever yeah. it is, it's 8% speed. I can't remember the exact number. Uh, and actually everything really static. Like if an explosion yeah. was happening, it would just basically stop and okay. the game looked really boring. So we have code in there that at runtime, uh, if you enter super reflex, it actually speeds up the particle effects. It actually makes the explosions run faster. So you see some movement there. Mm. And uh, that's that was, that was a, a fun fiddly thing to get right. Yeah. A little bit of cheating. Yeah, you don't, notes, you don't notice it. I love it. Yes. And Thank so it's you. the same. It's the same effect, but just slowed down, right? And you just made sure that the way the effect is made, it, it works, just yeah. as well visually in slow motion, right? Okay. Cool. Yeah. Exactly. It's it's the same thing. It's just slow. Yeah. It works. Um. Yeah. Let me show you. Got to be a lot of parts in that explosion, right? Yeah, I'm really there's curious, a, to be honest. A, it's a mighty explosion, but it's also <laughs> very, like, it's integral to the roller drum experience. You see explosions all over the place. They usually fill up a big chunk of your screen mm -hmm. uh, at any time, really. Especially in the later levels, you cannot go without explosions. That would really <laughs> surprise me. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so there's quite a bit of resources um, dedicated to this explosion. Um, it's big, it's mighty, but it also really has to be. So let me... Um, show you um these are the objects it consists of if i um turn everything up off except for the base not so mighty anymore right <laughs> <laughs> very boring very boring right. so this is actually the base this is what you see first and you only see it in the first split second really it's just this is more of a poof of, yeah more of a poof more of a poof <laughs> yeah. it's a bit more interesting if i um when i add this but i will not not at this, yes. So here we have trails. Yeah. With another particle system on top. Now we have Still a bang. Not, yeah, this is a, a little bit, a little bit of, <laughs> you know. But here, here's where it gets, um, where it starts looking a little bit kabushi, I think. Okay. <laughs> so now oh, yeah. you have a bit of kabush. Yeah. So this is another um, set of clouds following the trails as they go out of the, the center of the explosion. Yeah. And this big, mighty part in the end, the grande finale. Big kablam. Yeah, the big kablam. <laughs> you got it, Hassan, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, the big, gassy, cloudy, kind of smoky part yeah. that stays uh, on for a little bit. It also covers up the ugliness of the other ones. <laughs> 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 but yeah, this is... Um, this is the explosion that you will see most of the time. Um, it's actually visually ex inspired by by that era of um, comics and anime anime as well. Like yeah. if you've ever watched Akira, it's from the nineties, but it's still quite quite Absolutely. a good <laughs> reference for Roller Drum uh, VFX. Um, the explosions back then were looked a little bit different. Even in the movies, they were actually more gassy. Like these days, you have a lot of fire and dark gray smoke and explosions. Back then, they used to do them a little bit differently. They had less fire, less heat, as I call it, like the orange parts in here, are just a little bit of heat in the beginning. Um, most of the explosions are actually quite bright, gassy smoke, mm. and that's what we um, were inspired by and wanted to go for. That's why the, the hot part goes away fairly, um, yeah, fairly quickly. If I just slow it down again, you have it hover around for a bit, just for the boom explosion part, and then it's mostly smoke. So it looks Whoa. like um, there's some color mapping going on and a texture that's scrolling. Yes, yeah. nothing, nothing misses your sharp eyes. 
<laughs> yeah. So um, let's let's take a look. Well, there's also the explosion radius. Just oh yeah, just a little addition. Just, mm. That's fairly simple. That's like just that. an indicator for the radius, the actual damage radius. Kind of a functional component to the to the explosion, right? It yeah, also yeah. looks cool as hell. Like, yeah, it yeah. looks really cool. <laughs> it's an aesthetic functional component. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Um, so let me just pause it. It's a somewhat impressive stage, just so you can look at it while also looking at the explosion, uh, explosion shader, um, which is not this one, but this one. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Makes no sense, right? Yeah. <laughs> so the mapping that you saw is also making use of gradient textures, but in a very, very different way. In this case, I have a tiny texture. If you look at the resolution, it's 32 by 1. It's very tiny. It's just um, these basic colors and it animates them across the explosion as the explosion expands. So right. the indentations in the, in the clouds, they will start going yellow, then the yellow will expand towards the extrusions and the orange part will show and then the, the rest will follow. It's um, yeah, nothing, nothing too special. Like this is how it looks. If I animate it through, I mean, you say it's nothing special, but it looks great. So yeah, absolutely. It's, it's yeah, worth I think, talking about. Very special. <laughs> special. I think it it gets more special if you add those tiny tweaks to it because right. um, this kind of animation is actually not what you see. This is way too fast. Yeah. Right. I am. Um, we added another layer of control here, which makes it a bit more special. This is actually a custom curve. Oh, that is oh fancy! Nice. Passed, nice. yeah. That that is passed to the shader. So nice. in this case, this is the smoke, and the smoke should not have a lot of heat in it. It should be mostly smoke. So the it animates away the smoke, the like the heat part, the first few hot pixels very quickly. Right. And then it slowly continuous animating through the beige brown parts okay cool so we add that extra so like a sudden explosion and then the slow aftermath of the smoke like dissipating yeah yeah Amazing. that's that's how the smoke is um in the in the other in the first one this you saw the, the that is just yellow um at, at first the curve looks a little bit different yeah because this is not supposed to be very gassy it stays hotter for longer okay basically yeah, so are you, are you using these different explosions from the results of different weapons or is it just uh, randomized explosions? When, when do you use the different ones? Um, in general, we only have two prefabs. Okay. So, so the all, these, showed, yeah. Yeah, all these come together. This is the, the regular one. I actually didn't show the other one, but it's, there's a small one. Got it. Which is, you yeah, had the same, but smaller. Um, it's slightly different, um, so it's not exactly the same as we would not have made another one, but it's very similar and one was used for the grenade launcher, uh -huh. because at some point, you might know Hassan since you totally binged that game. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, when you, when you shoot your grenades, it will um, play the small one and other things like enemies or um, even barrels that are in the level, like the barrel that I just showed. Over over here, if you shoot that, it will explode and okay. spit out this exact explosion. And yeah, it looks random, like it's it uses a random seed, so it looks a little bit like different each yeah. time it happens. But the curve yeah. is the same. It's you've maintained the same curve that you just showed us. That's not randomized, right? No, that's not randomized. Cool. Okay. Yeah, cool. it's um, the same for each respective particle system that uses it. Yeah. Which in this case are three. three what? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, three particles systems that are clouds yes. with that shader, and then the trail particle system, which are these parts. It's mm. a different thing. It's um. It's, yeah. It's the 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 Unity Trail module, nice. with a kind of with over lifetime like this, and it stretches a little bit so. This is just a slightly shaped up trail without any actual particle, just the trail of it. And it has it sub emits basically these other clouds that follow it a little bit. Okay. 
And then what about the tip there? Like seems like there's like a spear kind of tip. At, is that like yeah. a? Yeah, this this is th this curve here. Technically, oh, if oh. I was to stretch it out really long, you know, it would look kind oh. of like the tip. I understand. Okay. That's yeah, the one. There's a um, bit of noise because it's also displaced um, using. Yeah, actually, I didn't talk about how how they get the shape, the um, their shapes yet, right? So maybe I should first um, tell you that one. But yeah, in in the case of the trails, there's a little bit of noise that displaces the trails and nice. makes it look a little bit more drawn. So yeah, those are the details you're talking about that really like, yeah. take it to the next level that's incredible. yeah kind of kind of kind of noisy kind of you know hand drawn yeah mm -hmm. yeah so um the actual shape itself comes from this texture it's a um oops, voronoi noise that looks like so and um, each particle is actually a fairly low poly mid poly kind of sphere um to make it a bit cheaper, we use GPU instancing, by the way, because we have a lot of them. But GPU instancing makes it fairly cheap to render them all, as cheap as this can be anyway. And um, these are projected onto the spheres and extruded from the spheres. So you have a cloudy extrusion going on here. And um, since this is projected in world space, you get an extra touch. And I will show you by moving this. Mm. If they, when these explosions expand, they move a little bit. And since this is based on world space, it looks somewhat natural, I want to say, yeah. when they uh, move outwards and change their cloudy shapes. It also clumps them together in a sort of cohesive way because of the, they're all using the same noise. Yeah, pretty, pretty nice. much. So mm. these are explosions well, what, what, there's one uh, functional bit to the explosions that i really appreciate which is um because there are a lot of explosions as you're playing right and if they, if you couldn't see through them you would not be able to see anything at all i think right so you right. can actually see certain like like the, you can see the barrel right there actually yep. and, and characters great, great observation is that, <laughs> good, was, that was that was the whole segue. thing yeah, really? that's, okay. that's okay. a segue. That's actually a segue. Thank you very much. I didn't have to, I didn't have to come up with this one myself. You did it for me. Perfect. <laughs> so um, yeah, let's let's bring this barrel forward a little bit. It's uh, clearly a star in this show today. Mm. Um, so this is using stencil buffers. So um, yeah, the the important objects that we want to be readable at all times, which are enemies, barrels, and the player. Um, oh, and projectiles that are being shot, like rockets, for example. Those bits have a special stencil buffer that just make like that just makes ma masks out apart from the explosion shader. It makes it draw the draw a different um, a different color instead. And this is how how that's being done. So if I was to um, and just like so people are clear, it's because as you were saying earlier, Alina, like so much of the screen can be taken up by explosions, especially later on. The game becomes so hectic. That's uh, that, that was a great deep dive into the explosions. So now you can go make your own explosions at home uh, <laughs> in in the Unity editor. I meant. <laughs> oh. 